Hey, buddies! Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Terra Invicta, where things are going amazingly well. At least it feels like it. We're at 188 mission control. I'm kind of scared to continue to expand my mission control. I think that is enough. One big problem I have is that I have a huge amount of mission control tied up around Luna. I genuinely am starting to think that this was a mistake because this is causing a lot of anger with the aliens. They have 2k here, another 2k here. They have 20, 30, 23 ships here hanging out in orbit in a standoff formation taking a look at me. Now I will say this, they have no acceleration and they have no acceleration, whereas I do have acceleration. So I'm pretty sure they either ran it at a Delta V or we like damaged one of their engines in combat or something because they can't go anywhere. They have not yet figured out how to repair themselves. So I'm kind of curious about that. Yeah, this guy, Auspicious Dawn, has zero Delta V. Interesting. Now, what about this? The Vorpal Fury has zero degrees millages. So I wonder if these fleets are just caught here and I should never bother engaging them because this is probably costing the alien up aliens upkeep. It's costing them heartache. One thing I would love to do is to try to reestablish control over Earth orbit. There are some what seem to be very basic uh, ships here. They got Cerberus nuclear torpedoes and point defense particle beams. I'm kind of doubting whether or not these will these will ever be really really good but they do have Nerva drives and solid core fission reactors so they're not like the, the worst things ever. They're they're a little bit weak though. Um, the nuclear torpedo bays they could do some serious damage if you don't have the right amount of point defense because holy shit that is crazy. It has five loads. Very, very slow torpedo though, but if it does hit, that is very, very dangerous. So it looks like they're going for a nuclear torpedo build. Um, one thing that I haven't yet considered is perhaps I should strengthen the position of some of my allies in the war. So for example, the resistance, maybe it would be good if I found them like a generalist mining base and gave it to them so that they would actually have a space economy. Because I think part of why they're crippled is because they don't have a space economy. So if I gave them a mining base, plus maybe a mission control base around Mercury, I feel like that could help them out as well. And I think the same is also true of, yeah, but in particular the resistance, the initiative seems to be doing just fine on resources as far as I can tell. Yeah, they got positive everything. Um, and the resource war in space is something I need to start considering more because uh, the servants in particular have a v comparable, they have a comparable amount of stuff to me. So I need to get the resistance in space stronger. So I may consider um, gifting them a base in the near future. Oh, it looks like these guys are doing a gravity sling around the sun. Interesting. Like, for example, what if I gave the resistance Bokashio Crater or something like that? I think I would rather give them an orbital. I could make them an orbital around Sun Mercury. I also, I would want to get an orbital around Earth. I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it the old attempt. So let's try the ISS orbit. We're going to found a platform in the ISS orbit. It's going to be a basic platform. We're not going to spend too much on it. We want it to fly under the radar. The platform core. We're going to go for a pair of solar collectors. Those are 30 days. And then we want point defense arrays. And my hope is that if it could survive 30 days, it might be able to survive a, a you know, a counterattack. There's a lot of fleets around Earth. We're also working on um, pushing back the alien stuff. And in the near future, I'll be switching over one of my guys to a science guy. But like all this alien junk just kind of spawning around I need to get rid of. Uh, ni nicely enough, this guy can do inspires and I'm going to get him to do a few inspires on Bao Mila sure in the hopes to get her so. loyalty up. So that's kind of like... I've got a lot of like midterm goals that I that I need to work towards and a lot of them are things like inspiring and uh, defending my interests and holding my position, increasing the science of my counselors, biding my time getting science through. I'm in command of two of these science slots. I don't know. I'd have to dedicate a lot more science to this one. I think being in control of two at this point in the game is probably enough. Right, let's take a look here. I'm ahead in science investment so I can peel back on trans interface warfare to finish medium green arc laser batteries sooner. I would like I would like to start upgrading my fleet to medium green arc lasers. If I could get a fleet of medium green arc lasers. Okay, the resistance took a point there. Did I not defend interests here? I'm actually kind of okay with them having a point here. As long as they don't try to go for more. No, I need I need to hold it for unification reasons. It should be fairly easy to do a crackdown though, so even if they defend it, it'll be plus 10, so I just need to have like 5 points over, so a 16 investment and a 8 investment. That should be more than enough to defend that. Uh, let's make sure we defend interests in the East Africa. How long until we can unify? August. So actually, we're really, really close to unifying, um, which means we should start defending our interests. Defend interests here. You defend interests here. Continue inspiring my guys. Let's get the unrest down in the East African Federation. New orbital cores coming up in the East uh, or Mercury orbit, right? Our security is 
through. Nice, inspiring. Good, 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 good. We got the crackdown on the East African Federation and all of our life science just came online. We now have a 52% bonus towards life science. That's huge. We're picking up all the bonuses. Now, ideally, those would be around... Oh, okay. Egypt did a regime change. Um, ideally, all of those uh, HABs would be around Earth to provide also the Earth interface benefits. But I'm hoping that that space station that I'm building will be able to do something like that. So we're kind of on the way there. We have purged and taken control of the East African Federation. It's the 15th. Ooh, this is big. So we have a very, very basic defensive station. I want to upgrade it to an orbital core. It can defend itself. That's huge. The fact that we're getting it up. So let's check in on the East African Federation. We're about ready to unify. So unifying these countries will be extremely good for me. We'll set national policy twice. We will make sure to defend our interests. Your job is to increase unrest in the alien, the alien nation. I'll go for a 79% chance of success. Let's start with unification. Unify with South Sudan. Perfect. This will be a hu now this will cause issues with this country, right? But we get that GDP up to that 1 trillion mark. We might be able to get the four control points. Unify with the Great Lakes. This is huge population boost. This is now half a billion people. Okay, put in perspective, Europe is 700 million. Um, the United States was like 340 million or something. Um, I think population growth on Earth has like severely stagnated as a result of like all the chaos that's been happening. But also unifying these countries together has brought them up now to a higher GDP level, which means we're getting more investment points. We do need to keep spoils high in the East African Federation, but we can start to increase the real economy and start to increase welfare and we can push strife down really, really low. And um, this country can actually support a decent military now. So that's something we might, might want to consider in the long term is building a military in here. But this is now like a, a, a country that we can start to build up into something meaningful that'll make a huge difference in the world. Like this is the African superpower that will hopefully, I know I already lost an African superpower, but this is the one that might actually be able to hold the aliens back. It's my hope. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to need a very important technology called a common concern. So I'll go a full send in this when I have a chance. The reason being is this will lower the elites demanding spoils in the nations that we control which means we could run a lower spoils level and not suffer coup risk because right now i'm pretty sure we're running a fairly high coup risk it's got 20 to defense against coups which is not great um what's the elite dissatisfaction it's quite high so yeah and keep in mind this guy's command four if we were to use divakar synapathy to launch a coup here you know he would have such a high success rate actually you know what that means i kind of need to invest more god i'm damned if i do damned if i don't i feel like you shouldn't be able to cause a coup if um if unrest is really low but let's get to work stabilizing and uh getting this country together in particular importance in defending against the alien incursions is actually getting rid of this alien goop all over the land so i think anton jerkwin has managed to do what he was hired to do so let's have a look and see if we have a scientist kingpin astronaut astronauts aren't bad because he can do stuff in space professor could be good this is academic so has extra science. Enemy of the state is not good. Hometown China especially not great. Quite good at science. Let's have a look and see if there's anyone else. Biggest problem with this character is the security rating. I'd have to spend a significant amount of her experience on increasing her security and hiding every couple of cycles. But I think this is a decent character, right? National policy, advise, inspire, and she can investigate alien activity. So I think I'm going to go ahead and replace this activist. Recruit Mu Zhao. Although she's kind of old. It's fine. The only, th the only reason I'm concerned is because I already have one character that is age 62, who was about 50 when the game started, so I'm kind of worried about having older ladies, um, because they might die. The main concern there is that they will just fucking kick the bucket halfway through the game. So I'll give her the obvious orgs, which give her admin. Anything that increases her science income as well. Let me see. East Garden Genetics, plus one science and plus a little chunk of science. Wedelia Aerospace, plus 20 science and plus one science skill. Yep, another one, another little bit of science. So she's up to 76 science per month. That's good. Let's give her her cybernetic implants. Artemis Global, not amazing, but it will put her up to 24 admin. So that's all we'll need. Nolana Rocketry, honestly, 1.25 boost per month could be helpful. Plus one science skill and another two engineering project income. Opal Laboratories is an obvious fit, as is Trolley Systems. We're now up to a very healthy 200 research a month. Minus 44 money, but the extra 200 research a month is huge. Um, and she has 15 science, which means she's quite good at doing what she is designed to do, which is to come over to Europe and do an advise mission. That will be a huge boost to the science in this country, right? 1.6k right now at, as the current count. The advise mission triggers and now it's 1.9k, so that's huge. Plus a, a large boost to our investment income as well. Actually 2.5 points is nothing to be sniffed at. Tra trajectory targeting Xeno Station. 
Xeno Station is in medium mercury orbit as two layered defense arrays, a 120 centimeter infrared laser battery. I believe I'm researching an upgrade to that with the medium green arc lasers. So that will help. Okay, awesome. So we got the medium green arc laser batteries. These are 120 centimeters. They use two hard points. Most importantly, that should mean if I go to my HAB modules, uh, they're now using medium green arc laser batteries. So they now have four point defense power. That's really, really good. So we've got them fully upgraded to the next tier. So I think I would like to research the Bantu nation and start getting control of Angola. And I also need to figure out what I'm going to do about my massive gold bleed. That's going to require me to do a little bit of spoils in Europe to um, bring my cash flow back up positive because I'm struggling a little bit to pay for all my space-based infrastructure. Um, although now that I have uh, an interface, I could sell all of my exotics and I don't really have a use for them. It's something to consider. I would like this 5% boost to my investments in the economic priority. This will be a very, very long-term help to my uh, system, although I'm already researching a... Um, I don't want to research two things from the same tech type. I don't think that's a good idea. Let's get a vapor core fission reactor. This might lead to new propulsion techniques. And then we'll do a full send on common concern and that'll be done in December. And that'll mean we'll be able to unify African countries a little bit easier because we won't have to rely on spoils quite so much. I'm leery about selling my exotics because I don't know how I'm going to get more of them if I do. So I'm going to hold on to them. Let's throw a coup in Angola. You know what? Angola has no friends. So it could be a good target for a quick European war. If we throw a quick coup in it, we make an Angola a rival of the European Union and then tell the European Union to declare war on Angola so that when we conquer it, we will lower the unrest with our psyops. It could be an interesting idea. Lovely. A whole bunch of new uh, mission control has just come online and we're still advising Europe. Let's declare war on Angola. Perfect. Uh, we're not going to get Euro Russia to join the war, but we'll immediately deploy two armies to Angola to take it out. And here we go. This is exactly what I was looking for. The Bantu Nation project is now available to me. We'll get to work on that. So every time this lady gets detected, I do have to go to ground because she cannot defend herself. She has zero security. She's very low stats. Uh, but my older characters have much higher security so they can play a little bit more aggressively. I don't, I don't need to go to ground. Although I think it would be a good time to do some go to grounds to avoid any retaliations. And um, there doesn't seem to be a huge amount of pressure on me politically right now. So a little bit of um, a little bit of hiding. I'm OK with vapor core fission reactor is finished. This will lead us to the cavity drive, the vortex drive, the vapor core fission reactor and the gas core fission reactor. These drives, I think, are generally worse than the grid. However, they do lead to, I believe, better um, drives down the line. So we're going to keep researching um, energy tech. I think having really advanced ship modules will eventually start to pay dividends for me. So it looks like the Einstein has been caught on the way to somewhere. He has a lot more Delta V than me, but let's try to spend like five Delta V. If I auto resolve, what happens? We're both operational. So nothing bad happened to me. We managed to dodge it. That's the point defense working out in our favor. So he managed to dodge the combat. That's perfect. Ideal. Keep on your way. We tried to do a little evasive maneuvers. It didn't quite work. We lost a point in Russia to the servants. We're gonna have to work really, really hard to get that back. We got the orbital core for Leonardo station above earth which is going to trigger an immediate expansion. I'm not so sure I want to do space hotels <laughs> um, because things get a little bit dangerous up here, but we are building, you know, we could build fusion arrays. They're worth 85 power compared to the 42. Honestly, I think we're doing fusion reactor arrays. It'll take a little while for those to be built, but they will be built. We should now be occupying Angola. And I'm doing the occupation because I have the PSYOPs thing that allows me to lower the unrest in countries that I conquer. And we're going to try and unify the Bantu nation through conquest. There's a lot of servant countries down here that we'll have to do coups in. But that will come in a little while because our main objective... Okay, so we're actually super popular in Russia. Russia is becoming diverse. Inequality is going down. Russia has actually started to stabilize. The only thing is they've lost population. But otherwise, Russia has started to stabilize into a country that, like, is not insane. Which means I think we can actually do a crackdown pretty successfully here. They can get up to 35. So as long as I just spend one, two, three, four, five influence, and then an additional five on a purge, one, two, three, four, five on a purge, we should be able to retake it fairly easily. So what's your chance of doing a few coups? I really don't like targeting the servants with coups right now, but I think it might be a little bit necessary. So let's just kind of target them very, very gently. We won't, like, go all out multiple coups per turn. I'd love to contact another organization. I could contact Humanity first. Let me have a look. Okay, so the servants have actually started to build a fairly significant fleet of frigates and stuff around. Yeah, they're using really, really crappy old tech, though. That's the thing. But I think I might be able to... If I can get, if I can get a fleet to Mars, I think I might be able to conquer Mars and then hand it over to, like, Humanity first. And the Resistance? 
who will help buy me time. I don't necessarily want to kill the the protectorate and the servants, but the problem... So, like, I know I've been acting a lot against them, and technically, I want to be friends with them, right? Because I'm trying to make friends with the aliens, I'm trying to make peace, I'm trying to, like, balance all of these factions. But the problem is these guys are actually close to achieving their aims, right? So I need to, um, I need to buy time. So it might be time to start building, like, marine landers and try to take over Mars. I would need to do it slowly because I would need to take over a base, trade it away, take over a base, trade it away, sort of a thing. Uh, so we're doing a backer tour. And if I invite four-star generals, our investment points that we direct into the military will be increased by 2% for the rest of the game. This will cost me 25 boost and 5k money. I'm going to do that. That seems worth it to me. And in order to stay above, above float here, I'm going to sell off two exotics. So you found a servant. We don't want to help the servants in space. We need to get the resistance up in space. We're basically trying to balance out the power. So we did a little coup there. But we don't want to do another coup. Okay, Academy Fleet, uh, Colonial Fleet has arrived in low Europa orbit. We're going to immediately come over here and found an outpost here. Uh, I'm looking for... God, this would be a great base to give to the Resistance, actually. Let me have a look at the Resistance again. You're low on everything. This would basically solve all of your space problems if I give you this base. So I think I am going to give you this base. So we found a Difed Regio. It comes with a fission pile, a construction module to be ready in April, and an outpost core. We're going to build a outpost mining complex and a fusion pile. And then that should mean that this Betty is ready, base is ready to be handed off to the resistance. So I just need to find a resistance agent to give them this base. Ha letting them have a position on Europa might be huge. And then I want you to found a fission platform. So now we've just fully colonized this place. Platform core, fission pile, construction module. Let's change this to a fusion pile. We'll get a point defense array and another fusion pile. And we'll kind of just wait until the construction module is done here. Compact solid core fission reactor 4 is completed. We can now go for a compact solid core fission core reactor 5. So our, our, our reactor tech is getting really damn good. Ooh, a laser engine. Increases all laser weapon by 5 megajoules. Increasing the weapons damage more longer at longer range. Ooh, shit. This could be huge for our laser tech. Okay, they've taken control of the European Union. I think I'm triggering retaliations because I'm becoming a little bit too strong. Um, which tells me I need to get the thing that reduces my threat. Uh, I will get that immediately after I get common concern. I'm going to look into kind of like cooling down my operations a little bit. What I really like about this game, and it's starting to become clear to me, is that they want you to win, but they don't want to give you the win. They don't want to hand it to you. They've given you a whole bunch of mechanics. You've got to navigate, you've got to learn, and you've got to play around. Xeno Station is under attack. It's a relatively well-defended station. I'm going to auto-resolve that and see what happens. We're operational. We did a little bit of damage to them. I don't think we took enough damage to need to replace modules. My stations are capable of defending themselves. That's really, really good. You guys are still operational, but you're in bad shape. Perfect. So we installed a new regime in Angola. And that's quite important uh, because that should have reduced unrest. It didn't actually, which is interesting. That's all right. We'll deploy these armies home. It was a fairly straightforward little conquest. We've got Alpha 94 has arrived in low Davida orbit. Perfect. So let me have a look. Go ahead and survey this space body for me. Thank you. Good job. Hopefully we do find good resources here. This would be a good candidate to give to the resistance as well, I think. I think that is the one I'm going to give to the resistance. I'll build it up and trade it off. Huh, what's going on here? Okay, we lost a control point in Russia. We're definitely provoking attacks. Not good. We've definitely provoked them. So they're kind of upset right now and they're doing retribution. What's our purge chance? Not very good, so we need better public opinion in this country. Divikar is getting really old, which is not good. He's getting up to 69 years of age. I will continue to level his command, though. He'll be able to start assaulting alien bases. Right, so a whole bunch of science across all of my characters has just been increased. I feel like this is slowly building up my defense against the aliens. I feel like I'm getting somewhere. Very, very slowly. We're now able to undertake gas core fission reactor. Good, 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 good. New potential reactors for our ships. Okay, so this is big. We now got a common concern, so hopefully... If I head down, oh, although actually uh, super, super important, we need to get Maskirovka. We have a huge research bonus to this, so we should be able to get it relatively quickly, June 2040, considering we're investing in all these other things as well. Now, we were doing something down here, and I need to remember what it was. I totally forgot. So we have a couple of bases on Europa. I need to trade them away very quickly to the resistance. Right, Vinicio, your time to shine once again. 6% chance, 50-50 shot. Popular support is still decent. We'll keep pumping popular support because we'll every single little point of it that we can get um, will increase that percentage significantly. So let's say we were to assault one of these alien nests. We could get it up to a 61% chance on a full send or a 50% chance on an almost full send. So he just needs three more points of command and then we can start bombing these bases, uh, mostly for alien assets and resources. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Sorry. You need to be doing a purge. 
I forgot about that. We're rolling the dice to retake the European Union. We've completed augmented combat training, plus 5% uh, investment points in military, army and navy. That's quite handy. Let's go for a civilian photonic computing to get a 5% boost to our economic priority. We've completed a survey of Davidia and there was no rares on it. God damn. Well, let's go ahead and found a fusion outpost on it. So what do we got? A fusion pile plus a construction module. Then the only things we would need then are an outpost mining complex and another fusion pile and then we can trade this away. And then I want you to found a platform, basic fusion platform. This will get another fusion pile and then I need a supply depot which will allow me to refit the modules. So you stay docked with that station, perfect. And then we'll trade those away once you're resupplied. Yes, we're basically colonizing for other factions right now. But I think that's actually a reasonable plan. I think it's an interesting play. They're going after the East African Federation. At least that's easier to take back. So it looks like you failed a purge. We failed our crackdown and purge. I hate having to do this, but I need to do a full send on unity here in Europe to get my um, public opinion where it needs to be. Oh shit, Divakar Sinapathy has been murdered. Oh damn, he was my best command agent. I mean, look, I was stuck in a loop where I couldn't go to ground because I'm losing my points. So he was just exposed. Not good. Um, I need another good commando. Damn, I built him up. How old are you? You're age 42. Six command. You're a hard target and you're a survivor. So you got good security. Welcome aboard, buddy. You don't yet have the government trait, but I will be giving you that government trait as soon as I can. Give him all of the augments. So we need to lose six orgs. I'm going to try and lose orgs that don't seem particularly useful to me. So I think I need to start specializing my guys. So I'm going to start giving them names. I probably should have done this a long time ago, but this will be Commando Joban Putra. This will be, he's already an investigator. He just needs like a little bit more admin. She's kind of all over the place. She's a diplomat, so her persuasion should definitely get to max. This guy's kind of all over the place. I need to get his like investigation and espionage up. Mostly espionage. I need to start like cycling out gorgs. So I'm going to make him a spy. So this is Spy Mobinya which means he wants to have lots of espionage. So he managed to get the crack down, but the problem is getting that back is going to be hard. Let's have a look here. The environment of Amsterdam has reached a tipping point and is rapidly degrading. Global climate effects are increasing. So if we spend 33k, European Union gains one cohesion, huge public opinion. Fund subsidies, significant public opinion boost. Unrest increases by three. I think it would be good to pay this. I'm going to sell off my exotics because I don't seem to have a use for them. Oh, it doesn't let me choose. It doesn't let me do that. Oh, that's annoying. Because if I can scrounge up the money, I should be allowed to do that. To scrounge up the money for an event. But yeah, that's a lot of unrest. Really unlucky timing. They took executive control of the European Union. Oh, Jesus Christ. The timing on that was absolutely incredible on the servants. If we lose Europe, I don't think we can win anymore. So many fires to put out. So this guy's baseline espionage is 10, I think. Unmodified is 7, so I need to get him a bunch of espionage orgs. Let's have a look. Anything with espionage is getting deassigned and put onto him. And if I give him the government trait, he'll be able to have the Directorate General here. So he's up to 15 espionage. That is starting to be reasonable. 15 espionage is not nearly as good as the old guy was, but we can do a purge. God, this is genuinely a terrifying moment. I could lose my power base here in Europe. I think somebody's going to snipe me on this point. Ah, oh, dude. They killed... I feel like if they killed anyone else, I could have survived. But that guy was so critical to my plans. Holy shit, they're just murdering all my dudes. Okay, this is retribution. I can understand. Thankfully, that was a relatively new counselor that I can live without. Um, but it's not good that we're getting low on counselors. Unfortunately, I just... I can't afford to respond to this just yet. I think someone may, may have been turned or else they just got lucky rolls on their attacks. Holy shit! I, someone has been turned. Someone has to have been turned. I just lost three agents in two turn phases. Oh shit, dude. A new death spiral has begun. Oh god. All right. Very, very scary. Not good. Not good, guys. We need to stop doing unity because the aliens are in control. It's giving them too much popularity. I would like the global popular support, so I will do that, although I'm burning cash like crazy. We now have access to laser engines. That's helpful for my laser weapons. I think it would be a good idea to get crash training program, which will give us uh, 40 experience every time we recruit a new counselor, which seems like it's going to be happening a reasonable amount. We have taken back control of one of the points in the European Union. Oh, fuck, they're just retaliating so hard. Yep, it's an alien doing this. I think this is retaliation for my expansion in space and the little bit of attacking I did on them. So, unification... So I don't know how alien unification works. 25 security on these goddamn aliens, dude. We can't let them have Europe. Europe is like our our savior. I poked the bear. Our crackdown chance is way too low. I've got no influence left. This is really, really bad. I'm going to have to trade for some. Um, I wonder who has spare. The resistance has a good amount of spare. The problem is this is crippling my mission control as well. A bunch of nanofactories did just come online, which might help with our income problem. Oh, Christ. 
Oh, Christ, they're gonna take Europe off me, dude. I can't stop it. Ah, oh, fuck. Why can't I stop it? I don't understand. I upped all my signs. I upped all my stuff. They just executed the two only people. <sighs> all right, boys. Things are about to get a lot harder. God, it's so easy for them to take control of countries, dude. Okay, I'm gonna fly- I'm gonna fire Tom- uh, Florian here. I'm gonna dismiss him and retain his orgs. I need someone with high persuasion. Seven persuasion on you. You're not a government agent, though. Government agent would be ideal. Here we go. Agitator. Government agitator judge. You're getting recruited. We'll grab Hephaestus Media Group. That'll give her the ability to do public campaigns, which will make use of her good stuff. Then we'll give her a bunch of admin boosters. So she's up to 25. Now she needs some security. So we'll give her the FSB, that's three security. The paras are two security. There's some persuasion. There's some persuasion. God, how are they able to break into such a huge country for no cost? It seems insane, dude. Persuasion eight is not a lot, but it might just be enough for me to do public campaigns with her. I'm completely out of influence is a big problem as well. Fuck, dude. Xeno Station is under attack again. I'm gonna just auto resolve that. Looks like it kind of won that combat. I didn't get to see the screen because it like bugged out for a split second. You know what, Humanity First? East African Federation is at least safe in your hands on a temporary basis. You can have it for a little while. Just don't run it into the ground. I got other... I got... The European Blame Union is in big trouble. And we're, fa we're failing all of our missions. Someone is turned. Or something. But I don't have time to investigate myself. Who could be turned? I spend a lot of time boosting, inspiring everyone. Fuck! Why can't I... Why can't I stop this? I'm being completely shut out, dude. I've got- I've got nothing. I'm being completely shut out. I'm trying to trade away bases to try and reduce my threat level, but they've just completely decided to target me. I mean, e I'm even failing to get public campaigns. They're gonna shut me out, dude. I, there's nothing I can do. The defense action happens before the- the crackdown action happens. He's just- he's sitting here enthralling elites, and I don't have enough influence to spend on this. If they get the European Union, that's six armies for the aliens. Six really decently tech-tacked armies. Why can't I stop this? I'm tr I'm doing everything I can. Like, they can take points from me. I built- I made- I, I feel like I did everything right. I boosted my security, I boosted my loyalty, I boosted my science, I researched all the technologies that defend against this, and now it, it's still happening. Ready. I don't understand why, like, the game is not telling me, oh, by the way, this is happening to you because this. There's like some crazy hidden knowledge. I'm trying to boost my popularity in here to try and retake it, but they're just- they're just, they're like a bulldozer, they're unstoppable. And I can't get my skills back up fast enough, I don't have enough investigation. The fact that they took executive control, if I saw them doing this and I had executive control, I could have ceded territory to Russia to have made this less awful. But now I think I'm well and truly fucked. I like, and... Like, I can't just abandon this, can I? Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. It feels like I don't have the tools that I need to actually do this. Both, like, all of my agents are just failing every role. You can't have all my agents turned, surely. He actually almost did a crackdown, but like, like the... And then I lost my ISS station. I'm just being completely taken out again. Surprisingly, my outer Mars ship was damaged, but not destroyed. The station helped defend it, but this isn't a station that I want to have forever. Who the fuck is turned? I need to find out who's turned. What use are you? What can you even do? This guy is completely worthless on the map. There's nothing he can do anywhere. I'd also like to point out that I've also lost a point in Russia, which is making this incredibly difficult. So he lost one of our Outer Mars colony ships, which is fine. I'm kind of okay with them taking a bit of damage off me. So like, once you know their loyalty score, you know whether or not they're turned, right? New plan. We got ourselves a new plan, boys. <sighs> We're gonna make Europe explode. <laughs> I built it, I can destroy it. If there's no defense against enthralling, then I don't want to enthrall. We're gonna start doing raise unrests. I think I expanded a little bit too much in space. Augustine Station in low Europa orbit has been obliterated. God, I didn't get this. I couldn't get this traded away in time. So I just lost my Euro Europa base, which is understandable. How do you fail? How are you failing this? I don't understand. We're losing Russia as well, dude. What do I do? How do I defend against this? What the fuck do I do? All right, let's try to turn a servant agent in our favor. We'll triple investigate this lady. And then we'll also get a, a detain on her. Okay, so we do now have access to the Vortex Drive, so I want to take a look at that. So this has... yeah, yeah, look at that. That's actually pretty decent. It's only 50% power use efficient, but a 9.4 thrust rating means that this could be quite good at... Um, yeah, 2 million newtons of thrust. You compare that to my grid drive. The grid drive gets 60,000 newtons of thrust. So this thing would be way, 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 way better at maneuvering in short-range engagements. Okay, so we have detained her, and now we just need to investigate her three times. So she's fully investigated, we have full knowledge of her. We're going to turn her, 
and then strike back at the servants. Oh, resistance contact. Fuck yes. Immediately. Go chat to the resistance. So these are my two trading bases. Let me go ahead and find that fleet that's in orbit of that and get him resupplied. Once he's resupplied, then we should be able to trade away that base, no problem. Okay, Baumila, I need you not to assassinate, but to turn this lady right here. Vinicio, you get another detain on her, please. We're never going to crack down the European Union. It's never going to happen. We're never going to increase unrest in here either because our command isn't high. We lost our command guy. Look, we may have been kicked back a few rungs, but that doesn't mean we're dead. It just means the game is hard. I'm not selling out the home, whole human race. How dare you accuse me of that? So why can't I sell them Habs? Um, I don't understand why I can't sell them Habs. Because <sighs> they're over mission control, those idiots. God damn it. Well, I'll buy their influence. God damn idiots, I built you bases. Okay, we turned an alien counselor. We know what they're doing now. We flipped back the East African Federation as well. <gasps> they're disbanding our armies. They're so clever. What the fuck? That's in this is so insanely efficient for them. How are they doing this? So we're going to do a survey of Iapetus. This guy is damaged though, and there is an alien ship like following him. Although, I think he, run he ran out of missiles, so he can't shoot me anymore. Did he only bring missiles? You fool, he ran out of ammo. <laughs> the alien ran out of ammo. He can't kill us. Oh, that's hilarious. Evasive maneuvers working in our favor. Fuck, we're going to lose Russia. They're going to have all the nukes. I, I, feel, I, I feel like I have no defense. What am, I, what am I supposed to do? I can't stop this. I feel defenseless. We're being kicked back to the, like, 2022. They've taken both of my power bases, and I, I, no matter what I do, nothing changes. We're running out of hope. I love you all very much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.